Fourth year in the NBA. 26 years old. Most improved player last year. And Vliet and Lowry. As tough as they come. Mentally, in fact, that you think you have a mismatch against them, the size and strength to compete and battle it. Leading this team to a championship, could win the awards this year. So could Mike Budenholzer on the Milwaukee sideline. He won the award last year. Here's Norman Powell with a rebound, looking to get things going in transition, but the Bucks get back. You mentioned both of those guys, deservedly so. They're in the discussion along with Oklahoma City's Billy Donovan. Three guys that I have a problem with. Don't have a problem with any one of them winning. Siakam. Way off the mark on that three-point try. And here comes Middleton. Driving on Ananobi. Connaughton. High floor. And he gets the Bucks on the board. The top two defensive teams in the NBA during the regular season squaring off tonight. Although the Bucks have not been great, especially on the perimeter defensively here in the bubble. Now they've been a disappointment for me defensively. Not the same team, and they've got to get it right. Because you expect them to be in the mix for winning it all, but that will not cut it, what they've been able to do defensively. Although the Raptors are 0 for 3 from outside, the Bucks are 0 for 2 from three-point land after that Middleton miss. Connaughton defending Siakam, so you got Middleton right now on Gasol. Sorry, how they set the tone for them also. Here's Connaughton on the baseline. Lopez, corner three is up and good, including six threes. He's had an outstanding season. Ability to shoot the basketball and so much improved on the defensive end, protecting the rim. Here's Connaughton from deep. That one's good. Milwaukee clinched a playoff spot back on February 23rd. It was the earliest in NBA history. Siakam connects on a long two. And it looked like the Bucs were going to get to 70 wins, but they struggled in March right before play stopped. They had lost three games in a row. And they are two and three so far here in the bubble. Bledsoe missing, rebounded by Ananobi. Or check that by Davis. Siakam, no. Bledsoe's got it. And Bledsoe blows by his... Made 50 more threes than a year ago. And the interesting thing, I say they have to make an adjustment. The Bucks are the one team that won't adjust. They're going to make you beat them from the three-point line. Jumper goes for Matt Thomas, 26-year-old rookie out of Iowa State. Good player. A lot of confidence. I mean, this, this team is, this Toronto team is deep and tough. Norman Powell from deep. Good. First shot attempt of the night for Powell goes. That's his 103 on the year. He's right around 40% from behind the arc. And on the Bucks, I'm paying attention to Powell because he's the one guy that can. <laughs> How about that start? But there was contact. He played through the contact, and even though he was off balance, he still was able to get up off the ground and dunk the ball. What a start. That's all no. Connaughton the trailer. Ten early points and three of three shooting. Bledsoe tried to hit Middleton. Knocked out of bounds by Norman Powell. As close to 100% as possible. So Mark, as a coach, how do you balance that when you've got two championship contenders? Yes, you want to be healthy, but you also want to be in a good place from a rhythm standpoint. Well, with, with both of these teams, like we talked about, we raved about the way that they compete at a high level. So I'm not concerned about the comp Powell puts it on the deck. Pretty shot by Norman Powell, who was drafted originally by the Bucks, middle of the second round in 2015, and he's carved out a nice NBA career. Collision between Middleton and Marvin Williams, so they're out of sequence there on that possession. Great stuff, size, strength, could shoot, could score. It was I believe he was ambidextrous. He could he could shoot it because I remember as a kid watching him win the horse competition. The NBA used to have him uh, every weekend, uh, pretty much, and he was the best guy by far because of his ability to use either hand. Chris Boucher, a very long 30-year pro out of Oregon. Stuck that arm out there and blocked Lopez shot and then Powell drills it. He has the last eight points Powell does for Toronto.
Fifth year out of UCLA, 27 years old. Middleton stops, pops, and hits just inside the foul line. First field goal for Middleton. Got a couple of free throws as well. Siakam trying to back down Williams out to Boucher, and he splashes home a three. Got into the league with the Warriors. He played one game with Golden State two years ago, 28 games with the Raptors last year. He's got two championship rings. <laughs> Must be nice. That's two more than me. Siakam able to get to the rim and lays it up and in. You know how hard that is yeah. in the G League? I mean, because you got guys that maybe don't make it to the league because they're outstanding defenders, but not as complete on the offensive end. For this guy to get it done on both sides of the floor, that's awfully impressive. Well, think how hard it is to do at this level. There's only been two guys to do it, Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon. A chance to, will be a third with Giannis this year, winning it the same year. Here's DiVincenzo from deep, off the heel, able to get his own miss. Fires to George Hill, the leading three-point shooter this year in the NBA, around 47%. He's so unselfish, do a great job of making plays for one another. Siakam with a good pass underneath to Thomas. Here's Boucher again from long range, got another one. Was a really good player at Oregon. Tore his ACL in the Pac-12 tournament just prior to the Ducks going on a run to the Final Four. I'm sure you saw a lot of them, right? Yep, and I was there when he tore his ACL and you felt so bad for the kid because he had worked so hard on his skill level to get to that point. And it's nice to see the work paying off now, getting a chance to be a role player on a championship contender in the league. There he is tracking down. You're trying to improve your shooting game. And one, one is into those guys. And one, one is an all-time great shooter. He's in the discussion with anybody that's ever played the game in Kyle Culver. So that's the right guy to talk to about shooting. And George Hill is the league leader in three-point shooting coming into tonight. Here he puts it on the deck and gets to the rim. And the he's been one of the best reserves in basketball in 2020. Paul Watson, a rookie from Florida State who's played only six minutes in the bubble, is getting some work tonight as Matt Thomas, a phenomenal shooter, knocks down another two. What you think about the, jo the job that George Hill has done for this Milwaukee Buck team? They need him to start, he starts. When they need him to close out games, his professionalism and playmaking. 117 career playoff games will be valuable this postseason as Thomas makes another one. DiVincenzo got caught in the air. Hill draws Boucher trying to get past him. Corver catch and shoot. Another one. As a defender, you can't fall asleep and allow him to have as back to back wide open shots. Six opening quarter threes by Milwaukee for the year. He scored the last seven. Now found away from north of the border, but he stayed loyal to the Raptors. You can under you can understand why teams would want him. Yep. One point game. 30 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Robin Lopez comes over trying to block Watson.